Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. Today's video is called How to Highlight Like a Grown-Up. And it's we're gonna talk about why highlighting is very important, how to do it in a more sophisticated way. If you're like me and you're no longer 20 or I'm not even in my 30s anymore, you have to step up your highlighting game just ever so slightly. And the purpose of highlighting is to show off things that you want everyone to see, like your eyes, tops of the cheekbones, and it also does an amazing job of distracting from things that people don't necessarily need to see, like, you know, anything around there, you know those kind of things. So we're going to, um, I'm going to show you why you need two different highlighters. I really like to do a creamy highlighter for this area in particular. I like to put it right here underneath the arch of the brow and then right there to the top of the cheekbone, then a little bit also in the center of the nose. I use this one. It's called the Glow Stick. It is very creamy. It's very soft. And the reason why you want to use a creamy one versus a powder is that you know, again, this is for grown-ups only. If you're a grown-up, you might not want to use a powder because the powder highlighters might show off any lines or wrinkles underneath the eyes. So we're going to use a creamy highlighter first. And when I do this at home, I generally take the glow stick and I shake it really hard down towards the ball and then I apply it directly to the skin and just, you know, put it on in those areas. I'm just going to use a brush for you know, just use a brush to apply this. And I'm gonna show you how quick and how easy it is to highlight the eye right underneath the arch of the brow. We're gonna put it right there underneath the arch of the brow and then also right here, kind of going around in like a C or a V shape, right there. Put it right there and you want it to be very soft, very subtle. It's not something that should be seen from a mile away. No one should be able to really know that you have highlighter on. They should just say, wow, you have beautiful glowing skin. Not like, hey, I like your highlighter. Where'd you get that? So I'm going to put this on the other side, right underneath the arch of the brow. And then going around in the little C to the top of the cheekbone. Kind of like to right about there. And also you might want to take your fingers and just kind of like tap it in like that. And it's just a subtle little brightener that when people can't really see unless you turn to the left or turn to the right and it picks up in the light, but it does really make a big difference in the skin. I also tend to take a little bit and put it right down the center of the nose, which kind of makes the nose look smaller, kind of just all centers the face. Now, why wouldn't we use that same creamy highlighter to highlight the inside corner of the eye? Because this particular product is oil-free and I created it for people with more combination skin like me where if it were an oily product or a creamy product and it had certain emollients in it, I generally tend to break out. So this has a tiny, tiny bit of alcohol in it and it makes it just stick just where it needs to go and look very much like it's part of your skin. But because it has that alcohol, you can't put it on the inside corner of the eye. So we're going to use a powder highlighter, which is what I used to only use as highlighter before I became a grown up. <laughs> and I like being a grown up. It's actually working out well for me today. So we're going to take the pink champagne highlighter and we're going to use a brush and I'm going to show you how to use this on the inside corner of this eye and also to kind of like blend across ever so slightly with it. You can also use it right underneath the eye to take away any dark circles. And by the way, this eye look, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of people asking about it. I created this eye with a black pencil and then a little bit of smolder eyeshadow, smolder eyeshadow. And I did a little tiny bit of the cheeky multiple tint. That's the blush in the inside in the center just has like a little bit of an accent color right there in the middle right there. So we're going to take that pink champagne highlighter, pick up a little bit of the color with the blush. I mean, with the brush. I can't talk today, even though I'm a grown up. Just remember that I'm a grown up. So we're going to take this brush and put a little bit right there in the inside corner of the eye with a brush and just brush it off, brush it over and across and kind of like blend and soften out that eye. See? Gives a nice dimension to the eye. The great thing about the pink champagne highlighter too is it's not, you can barely see the, the sparkle in it. It's very sophisticated. It's ultra fine shimmer. It's not kitty sparkle. So we're going to take a little bit and do the other side, do the other eye, inside corner of the eye with the brush. 
and just sweep it across and kind of blend out and soften that more dramatic eye. Now, if you tend to get a little bit of fallout when you do your eye makeup or you get, you know, signs of being a grown-up, some lines and wrinkles, dark circles, lack of sleep, that kind of thing underneath the eyes. One of my favorite things I use is a corrector wand, and this is an awesome product because it helps to clean up any of the fallout. So we're going to use this one. This one's in silk. It's the light one. I also have one in peach for darker. But you kind of just like click it up, and then what you do is you put a little bit right underneath the eye and clean up any fallout at the very end very quickly. And it also ha acts as a little bit of an under eye illuminator to take away the dark circles if you have any of those. It's also a really good product to like keep in your bag for little touch-ups. Like example, I have this little thing on my nose right there. I'm going to take the same thing and just cover up that little Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, whatever that is. I don't know what it is on the end of my nose. So I hope you enjoyed your video and I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. If you have any questions or you need a foundation match or a consultation on skincare, please email me at jenniferbradleyco at gmail.com. And you can check out any of these products on my website, jenniferbradley.com. Oh, wait, jenniferbradleyco at gmail.com. <laughs> jenniferbradley.com is the website. Have a wonderful Wednesday.